Good morning. How is everybody? All right, so I am going to talk about 1101. What it is, it is 10 years, 10 dreams, and one goal. So I want to know how everyone's liking the program. I'm hoping, and all of us are actually hoping, that it is influencing y'all. It is motivating y'all. Um, good morning, ladies. Um, this program is to help y'all with y'all's business, with you personally, with you to grow and everything. It's to inspire you. Um, I personally was in the first Stars on the Rise and the second. It has helped me. It helped me get organized. It helped motivate me. It helped me be consistent. And I'm reading over my notes too. So um, we want you to make sure that you are making this program your own. How is this program going to help you? If you need to change a little something up, go ahead and do it to how, where it reflects you. If some of the stuff we do doesn't work, try and change it just a little bit to where it's something you can do. Um, also, sometimes we get discouraged. So with the 10 years, 10 dreams, and one goal, don't get discouraged. It's a new month. Um, last month, I tried so hard to promote again, and I didn't reach it. Yes, you know, I, I was upset. I was. But next day, the first, new month. I'm over it. Don't, don't let something that discourages you or puts you down stop your five-year goal or your five-year dreams. Don't let it hold you back. Um, a, a quote is, uh, you cannot let a temporary feeling affect your five-year dreams. So I want you to really think about that. Um, personally and personal life and the business, this is a business. If you treat it like a business, it's a business. I mean, you can be a hobbyist and use this as well, but if you let something temporary affect you, it's going to hold you back. So don't let it do that. Um, one, what are your goals? Are they big enough? Are they scaring you? For me, you know, one of my goals is to promote to director. One of my goals is to, goals and dreams, is to stay at home with my kids. I hate that I have to come to work every single day. Right now, I'm the only one working, so I have to. There's there's no other way you know we have we have one income and it's my full-time job along with Cincy but Cincy for me right now is my my side money it's what I use to treat myself to buy a shirt for my husband to buy diapers you know that's what it is right now but I'm gonna make it bigger for myself because my goal for becoming a stay-at-home mom and just doing Cincy, it wasn't big enough. I, it was not measurable enough. So are your goals measurable? If they are not, try to break it down to where they are. So for me, you know, my goal, I've changed it to where um, I want my Cincy paychecks to be $5,000. You know, what's going to help me get there? Well, that $5,000 paycheck is going to help me be able to stay home with my kids. Help me be able to do all the things without having to come into a eight to five, nine to five job and having to work long days on the last day of the month and on the first of the month just to close out a month. It will stop that I can stay home. And um, something else is Rachel Hollis. I don't know if any of y'all have listened to it, but She's helped me get out of my funk. I know she's helped a lot of other ladies in the team get out of their funk. It's motivated me. So if you have a chance, listen to or buy the book, Girl Wash Your Face and Girl Stop Apologizing. It will, it, it will change you. It will change your life. Um, whenever I first listened to it, because I don't, I have the books, but I listen to it more because I have time to listen. I don't have time to read. So, 
with that, I can have my headphones in at work and I'm like, oh my God, like seriously, uh, that that's me, you know? So listen to that if you have the time. I'm sure she has a podcast as well. It's called Rise Together, I believe. Something Rise. Um, but she has one and then her and her husband have one as well, which they started just a few late years later. Um, in her podcast, if you do not have the money, there are a few chapters that she actually reads in the podcast. It, even if you just listen to those, they will change you. So with the 10, 10, 1, I want you to picture your life in 10 years. Picture your perfect life in the perfect world. I know right now it's crazy, but imagine none of that's going on. Um, picture your life. Where do you want to be? What do you want to be doing? I want to stay home. I want to have a house on the land somewhere, preferably Texas, because I don't see myself getting out of Texas. Um, but that's my 10 year dream. You know, my oldest, he's going to be 18. He's going to be graduating or already graduated from high school. My other two will be 15 and 12. So thinking about that too, where are they going to be in 10 years? Well, one will be graduating, going off to college. The other two will still be high school or middle school. So, you know, I want to be in a good location for a good school. I don't want to homeschool. Mm -mm. No, thank you. That's not for me. <laughs> um, and then 10 dreams. Anything you dream about doing, um, don't let it be too big or not. Don't limit yourself. So what are some dreams for me? Stay at home mom. Um, I'm contemplating getting a boob job. Okay. I'm contemplating it. I want to be able to get LASIK. Um, what else? Be able to be financially stable just off of Cincy. Just off of that. Um, those are just what? Three for me? What are they for you? Don't limit yourself, you know? And then it goes down from that to one goal. What? What is one goal that will get you all of those things? So $5,000 might seem low right now, you know, but there's others who want $10,000, who want $20,000. That is their goal. That's not my goal. That's their goal. So my goal, $5,000 paychecks. Um, what am I going to do to get there? What actions am I going to do to get there? One action. So, if your goal does not scare you, it is not big enough. Because last year, I believe my goal was to promote, which I finally promoted, but promote to director. Um, by the way, I promoted to lead. I'm a lead consultant now. Um, but that wasn't, that wasn't big enough. I mean, yeah, you know, not big enough, not measurable enough. So reach for your dreams. That one goal you need to be able to do every single day. And then your word should help you from yesterday that you had picked. Your word should help you get to that goal. So for me, my word is consistent or consistency. I have been more consistent lately posting. And not just posting since he being more open as well about my family life and sharing with others because they want to see you, especially right now with social distancing. They want to see people. And right now, how we do that is lives, pictures, videos, posting, whatnot, stuff on social media. Social media is life. Texting people is life. Connecting is life. We just have to find different ways to do that right now. So one driven action that will get you to that goal. And then with that action, what is that one thing that you can do every single day to get you there? So like I said, for me, it's consistency. I'm not bugging people every day. There might be some people. 
but that's my husband, right? <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm not messaging everybody every single day. You need to create connections. And it's not just like, um, oh, hey, this deal is going on, you know? I just wanted to let you know. Oh, hey, here's this. Oh, hey, buy this. Change your wording up a little bit. Try to connect with these people. You know, get to know your customers. Get to know them because once they know you, they're going to trust you more. And, um... I, don't know, I think I'm rambling now. I'm not sure. But yeah, 10 years, where are you going to be? What are your 10 goals or your 10 dreams? And what is your one goal? I want y'all to go ahead and put them in the comments. Let us know. And if your dream is not big enough, if you are unsure, you can message any of us. We're all very supportive of one another, which I love about this group. We're all there to motivate you. Um, we will help you. You know, that's that's what we are here for. We are here to help you. So if you need help on any of this, let us know. Don't be scared to comment or anything. We want to see it. We want to see what you want to do. You know, I, I wanted to be a physical therapist personally but that didn't work out with my lifestyle. I found that out. So with that, the reason why I wanted to do that is I wanted to help others. So, you know, with sensing, I can help others, whether that's sensing their life, whether that's helping them reach their goals. I, mean, I, I am helping others right now. So that's how I like, how I see it. That's why I love Cincy. Um, so yeah. 10 years, 10 dreams, one goal. Love y'all.